Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. You know, it's been a while since I've done one of my DIY musical projects, so we're gonna do it today. We're gonna build a wash tub base. And I've never built one of these before. I've never tried to play one before. It's gonna be a bit of a learning experience, but let's do it. So I've got my stack of parts over here. Let's see what we got. So first things first, I'm using, this is just a one inch by four foot dowel. You can buy these at pretty much any hardware store. Um, you know, there's various instructions on making a wash tub base. Some people say to use a broomstick handle, some say to use a shovel handle, some say to use a piece of lumber, some say to use a pipe. There's all kinds of different things. But it was cheap. This was, These are about um, between four and five dollars at any hardware store. Okay, next we need our eye bolt. And so this is a three eighths by six inch eye bolt um, and you can see kind of the stack of hardware here. We've got a nut and then a lock washer and then a fender washer and then another fender washer and a lock washer and another nut. So obviously the, this will go, this will be what the line attaches to on the actual uh, wash tub over here. So that's kind of how I set that one up. Okay, and next, I just have three pieces of scrap wood here. And what I did is I just went through my scrap box and I found these three pieces. These are all three quarter inch square dowel. It's not what I was looking for, but it'll work. And these are all almost the exact same size as you can see here. I actually had to sand one of them down a little bit, but they're almost identical in size. So I was like, perfect. And that's what you need is just like three pieces of scrap wood. It could be round dowel, it could be square dowel, it could be rectangular wood. It doesn't really matter, but you, what these are gonna be used for is the feet on the base. So you just need like a few pieces. These, these are each about probably between three and four inches long, and these should work perfectly. Then you'll need some sort of hardware to attach the feet to the wash tub. I just happened to have this one around. It's actually got six in it, random. But I actually, this was from a previous project that I didn't use. So there we go, there's our six bolts we can use to attach the feet. And then you need something to use as the string. So I am just gonna use this. Now I have read several things on this. Some people say to use weed whacker line and I have weed whacker line in the garage but it's the like octagonal kind and supposedly that will scratch your finger up if you want the round kind but then I read lots of things where people said to use nylon cord or clothesline or all kinds of different things I have this on hand so I'm gonna try this if it doesn't work we'll try something else and finally we have the wash tub itself now I got this at one of the big uh, big box hardware stores and um, this is a 17 gallon there you go you can kind of see the size of it now, actually, a 15 gallon would be perfect. That's what I wanted, but they only had one 15 gallon left and it was really badly smashed, so I didn't want that one. So I ended up getting a 17 gallon. This one I think was about $22, and I think the 15 gallon was about $20, so a couple bucks cheaper. And this is the 17 gallon, as I said, and so it's just a little bit bigger around, but it'll work fine. So this is gonna be our base, our, you know, our tub for the base. And the first thing you want to do is get these stupid handles off of here because you don't want these things rattling around. Okay, so the handles are off. And while I had the tub over there, I drilled a 3 8 inch hole through the center of the bottom. Just any standard drill bit should work. And so the next step is now let's put the let's put the eye bolt through that hole. Okay, we have our eye hook mounted there, and so this baby is almost ready. The next step is we're gonna put our legs on, and what I have done here, let me just set this down for a second. Hopefully you can see this. I made a little mark on each one of these. It's about the same distance from the end. I don't know if you can see it so well on that one. But that's where I want the bottom of the wash tub to go. So this will stick out this far this part will stick out below the bottom of the wash tub to make it so the wash tub is not directly on the ground. It'll just raise it up just a little. So these will just act as little legs on the wash tub.
Okay, at this point our tub is done. We've got the eyelet on there. We've got it screwed to the bottom side. We've got our three legs on there. So that it sits just a little bit off the ground. And I started taking the logos off. You can see, or the labels, excuse me, off. You can see they kind of didn't come off real clean. So I'll get some goo gone and finish that up a little bit. But I think we're done with the tub. So the next thing is to do the neck. And so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna drill a hole through one end, just completely through. And that's going to allow us to put the line through. And on the other end, we're just gonna notch the end so that it can sit on the edge of the wash tub. And then all we gotta do is put the line on. So pretty simple project. Okay, so I tied the line between the handle and the tub and I'm gonna try to uh, play the bass for the first time. Okay, so it's really fun to play, but the pitch is really nebulous, as you could probably hear, because it's like a fretless instrument. There's no real uh, guide. You know, you're just kind of using your ear. So it's gonna take some practice to figure out where the notes are. But I'm gonna guess if I, if I played it along with somebody, like if I had someone playing chords, you can probably harmonize better than you can just play something. I want to electrify it, so I'll probably have a future video where I put a pickup in it and stuff. I just don't have the things that I would need to do that on hand right now, so I'll have to order them. And then maybe I'll, you know, I'll do a follow-up video of electrifying the wash tub base. So there we go. That was a fun little day. I've never tried to make a wash tub base before. I've never tried to play a wash tub base before. That was probably obvious from the sound clip. But anyway, there it is. Guys, if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I'll see you guys in the next video.